I just thought I'd share that little uh, piece with you. I lost that footage a long time ago and I was able to find it going through all my stuff when I was working on my reel. But um, I just wanted to do a special vlog for Gilly because today is the anniversary of his death. Um, I'm wearing his shirt, which is going to wing. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm drinking from his gangling cup, <laughs> which doesn't have any beer in it, which makes me incredibly sad because I think I might need some liquid courage for this um, particular vlog. I don't know where to start. <laughs> My heart's racing like a million miles a minute because it's going to be a difficult vlog. Um, it's probably going to be really melodramatic, so anybody who doesn't want to like watch something like that, look away. Turn this off now. <laughs> I give you fair warning. I just wanted to... I started to tell uh, Julian about this uh, my, at my going away party. Of course, then I did have some liquid courage, and um, but I feel like this really needs to be said. Like, throughout my whole childhood, I was really bullied. <laughs> like, uh, constantly told, you know, you're fat, you're ugly, and like, all this other stuff. And it was because I'm really weird. <laughs> um, and there's nothing I could do about it. I'm still weird. Ashley always said that she admired me like doing whatever I wanted and didn't care what other people said or thought and the thing is I did care I just don't know how to be anything else this is who I am I, I don't know how to fit in better this is not to accuse or to blame anybody because I understand that childhood like it's, it's rough it's rough for people um and I understand like I wasn't perfect either like you know people do horrible things that you can't take back later I forgive, I guess you could say, like, I, I forgive everybody for what they've done. But 
for anybody who hasn't been bullied their whole childhood, um, it really, the best way to describe it, I think, is like, you know, they chip away at a mirror, and they, the, the piece by piece, and like, you start to, if you hear this stuff every day, you don't even, like, not only do you start to believe it, but you start to become that person that they want to make you. And when you get older, and you get out of that situation, um, you can start putting the pieces back together, but like, you know, the cracks are always there, they always show. All of my theater people were really important to um, me becoming who I am today. You guys, like, you kind of, like, saved my life. <laughs> Like, you know, I had great friends back in high school. You really need somebody who doesn't know you, who doesn't know your situation, um, to accept you and love you. And you guys were the first ones to do that, and Gilly was the very first one to do that outside of school. He was in one of my classes, and then we were in theater, and he was always, like, super encouraging. Um, he... He saw me, uh, he, like, uh, like, recognized the stuff that I did, like, he would always tell me, like, he wanted to be my apprentice, uh, because he wanted to just follow me around and find out how I did films and stuff, and even at that point, I didn't know what I was doing, I wasn't, like, doing many films, I was just doing some stuff that was fun, and I, like, he, he, like, appreciated me. And, um, like, one day he did, like, a somersault. He, like, saw me across the cafeteria, and he did a somersault, and he came over to me, and he was just like, hey! <laughs> and then he hugged me. And, um, like, you guys brought me out of my shell, and you were able to help me start to put the pieces back together. I also want to tell you guys how much of a blast I had whenever we did the the theater stuff and we took that play to well we tried two schools <laughs> it ended up being like one and a half sort of um, but I had so much fun all um, in theater class and during that play with Jessica and I just it was some of the best times of my life and even if we were just being ridiculous and like not doing anything of significance it was all significant to me I just want to say thank you and I love you guys and I know I'm here in California. You will always be super special. But now and till forever, I will always think of you guys when this day comes and I will always think of Gilly. I wish he knew how special he was to me. And I don't think I ever got a chance to tell him that. And I want to tell you guys now before it's too late. Okay. Oh, I love y'all. Bye.